What's up guys, Ryan here. So today I wanna to talk about some print on demand design apps. In case you're just getting started early on with your print on demand business and you don't know where to go to put some designs together. Now, first I wanted to talk about browser-based design apps. This means you don't need to download programs and install them on your computer. You can just go to a website and do it inside your web browser. Now, as a web developer, I'd like to recommend that you use Google Chrome if you're not already. Um, it's just the best web browser for a bunch of reasons. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is that it's faster than all the other browsers. And second of all, it's usually like more cutting edge when it comes to adopting new web technologies, which allows people like me, web developers, to do cool stuff for you or, or put new cool features at your fingertips. So check out Google Chrome if you're not using it already. All right, and the first website that I wanna recommend is canva.com. Now I am a Canva Pro member and if you pay for an annual license, it's only $9.95 a month. Canva is as close as you'll get to like Photoshop, at least in my experience, with regards to a browser-based design platform. And what's really great about Canva is that it's packed with templates, meaning if you want to create like a Facebook cover or a YouTube video thumbnail and you don't have like a direction in your head where you want to go with it, Canva's got like, I don't even know, you can, it seems like you can scroll forever and it's just packed with different pre-built designs that you can tweak to fit whatever your needs are. Also with their templates, they're already uh, pre-built at the dimensions you need for things like YouTube thumbnails, Facebook covers. Those are like two of the most popular ones that people use Canva for. Um, with regards to like us using it for print on demand, you just got to make sure you start a new design, uh, set your dimensions to whatever d dimensions you need. Typically it's 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. And uh, the templates might not fit your design size exactly, but it's also packed full of like reusable design elements. You can just pull, drag, drop onto the page. And uh, this is just a screenshot here, but another cool thing they do, and I don't have a picture of it, is when you go to the text tool, it pairs text that looks good. Like it'll be more than one font family. So you know when you're making designs and a lot of designs need more than one font family and you spend, or at least me, spend time trying to figure out like what font family looks good with this other one that I've already decided I'm going to use and you scroll forever. Well, Canva is packed with different font families that you can use in conjunction with each other that when you go to the text tool, it's already like being previewed. So you know they look good. Drag, drop, swap the text out. Super easy. Canva's pretty awesome. Um, and again, it's, you can use it for more than just Amazon merch. You can make, you know, anything in there. So Canva's definitely worth taking a look at. All right, next up, I want to talk about Design Wizard. This is basically like budget Canva. And unfortunately, by the way, so with Canva, if you try to use that, I should mention, because I guess most people aren't going to want to pay for it if you don't have to. I think it's that they don't let you export as PNG, if I remember correctly. It's either that they don't let you export files as PNG or they don't let you export files in the dimension you need for Amazon Merch if you don't pay. So they get you they get you to upgrade somehow. And Design Wizard's the same. Design Wizard will not let you export files at the dimensions you need. Like it's always going to be small resolution uh, unless you pay for a uh, for a license. And since I published this article when it was free and you were able to do everything you needed to, they have since changed it to where you have to pay to export, yeah, like in the dimensions you need, but it's basically like a budget Canva. It's, it runs a lot slower. It doesn't have as many templates. It's uh, not as intuitive, a lot less hotkeys. Another thing that I loved about Canva is that they have like the window, they had a lot of the Windows hotkeys built into their, uh, their editor. Um, Design Wizard does not, so you'll notice a difference if you go from Canva to Design Wizard. I know because I was just publishing more in-depth videos of how to use these tools for my Amazon Merch course, which you can check out. Link's always in the description. Um, but yeah, so Design Wizard's also an option if you're looking to spend less and still have a tool where you can do things like, at a minimum, create simple text designs. Like as you can see here in this screenshot that I took of the text tool, they do something similar to what Canva does where they preview the text for you, but it looks like they don't do as good of a job. Like with Canva, it's, it's almost always like, two fonts like big bold like right next to each other whereas this it seems like they're uh resized to be some of them are like really hard to see because the font size is so small um because it looks like it's part of a specific design that they're trying to uh, design in the template 
All right, makemerch.com. This is 20 bucks a month, and it's made by the original Amazon Merch guru, Chris Green, who is responsible for letting a lot of people know about Amazon Merch. And uh, I'll be honest, I've never even used it. It kind of looks crappy. If we're, if we're being honest here, doesn't it look pretty crappy? Like, if, if, and the best part is that it's twice as much as the alternatives. So I threw this out there just because, you know, it's Chris Green, the, the, the original merch guru guy. It's his tool. And, uh, you know, it should be good. Although I have not read many great reviews about it. But, you know, just know that it's out there. Um, I probably should have just deleted it from this article, to be honest, and skipped it on this video. Because uh, for 20 bucks, why, why pay twice as much? You can have Canva for, for half that price. All right, installed design apps. Adobe Photoshop. We need to talk about Photoshop. So I've done I've already done Photoshop videos on this channel because it is my preferred um, design application. And that's for a number of reasons. For one, it's not browser-based, so you get a lot more robust functionality that couldn't exist in the browser. Um, like I said, like you use Google Chrome, it enables modern web technologies that keep getting better and better. But it's still not keeping up with like if you were just to download a massive executable file like Photoshop and install it on your Windows or Mac or Linux machine, um, you know, there's going to be way more functionality in, built into this. And yeah, I mean, if you um, do end up using Photoshop, if you guys are still open to making a decision about what to or you're testing the waters with what design app to use, go through my channel and check out some of my Photoshop specific videos. I also give you my baseline Amazon merch Photoshop template for free. Um, it comes with like a, it's very simple, like white background, black background. It's optimized at the standard merch dimensions. And under the channels tab, it has a grunge pattern so that you can make distressed designs. And I put all that content out there for free on this YouTube channel of how to do all that in Photoshop. But I love Photoshop. It is $9.99 a month. Well worth it. Or you could be like me, just get a job that'll pay for your Photoshop license. So I don't really have to pay. I just uh, I get it through my, my company, my day job. All right, GIMP. So GIMP is, GIMP is to Photoshop what Design Wizard is to Canva. So GIMP is like the budget version, except it's free. So unlike Design Wizard that was free and then went to a paid model for what we needed it for, uh, GIMP is completely free. You can download it at GIMP.org org i believe slash download and it's uh it's interesting like for me i struggled to really get comfortable in it because the like hotkeys that i'm used to using in photoshop for instance like they weren't working and so then i'm starting to like have to familiarize myself with the gimp ui to do things like deselect um or even things like it's weird like when you're typing text and you want to change the color there's like a menu on the side with a color picker but then there's also and like in Photoshop, you can use the sidebar color picker to change the color of the text if the text is selected. With GIMP, that wasn't working. There was like a separate text-specific little pop-up bar uh, that you had to use to change your text. So it was just like there's a learning curve there. And I just made some simple text designs to show that you could do it, show how to export as PNG, and um, then moved on, went back to Photoshop because that's where I'm comfortable. But this is free, so if you're balling on a budget – and you don't feel like paying another monthly recurring fee, this is a great option. Um, plenty of free content out there too on the web. And last but not least, uh, there is an app called WordSwag. I put out a video last week on how to use this from your mobile phone to create designs. Now, someone in the comments reached out to me and said, hey, did they ever change the fact that like a bunch of the fonts used in that app are not, uh, you cannot use them for commercial purposes? And I said, oh, let me do some research. I didn't even think about that. I just operated under the assumption initially that like, well, yeah, if they're selling this app for designing that they should be allowed to, like we should have commercial license to use these fonts. Turns out I couldn't find anything that said that something had changed where we did have commercial license. So with WordSwag, you really have to be careful if you use it for designing. Um, and you'd have to like figure out what fonts are in each pre-packaged design and that that font is safe um, for you to use for your commercial benefit to be selling designs and making financial gain, um, which it kind of sucks. So this app really is awesome for designing. I mean, it literally puts at your fingertips. If you check out my video from last week, I can put a link in, in this one. It's, uh, it's just so easy to make. Like, suppose you go to Merch Informer and you get like a hot niche and you just want to make a simple text design, like not even graphic design, just text. But you can also mix in the graphics later. 
but you can do it from your phone and make like 10 different, 20 different variations of the text that are all unique just by tapping a couple buttons. Super quick, super simple. Um, worth checking out, especially I think it's free for iOS and four bucks for Android. Um, like here were some designs I made in there and it took me like what, a couple minutes, maybe, maybe like a minute or two. So just know that these are out there. These are just a couple ideas for design apps. I mean, me, I'm always in Photoshop. Keep it real with y'all. That's what I prefer. That's where if I'm comfortable and I'm still learning stuff like all the time too. Someone shared something new to me in my Facebook group just today because he watched one of my YouTube videos. He said, hey, there's a faster way to do this. And I was like, yo, this is awesome. Thank you for sharing. If you guys have any tips for me about how I can get better at Photoshop too, or if you have any feedback about like which one of these design apps you prefer, or if there's something out there that I missed, hit me up in the comments, let me know. But anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, hit me up in the comments and I will see you at the next one. Passive Income School is open. Enroll now at riotsmethod.com. Thank you.